There's water everywhere and in everything. Human beings are made of 80% water. There's water in the air and even stones contain this heavenly liquid. John the Baptist was baptizing with water and Yeshua himself said that no one would enter the kingdom of heaven without being baptized with water and spirit. But what did he actually mean by that? Water and spirit? Did Yeshua and John know something about water that we are just beginning to understand today? It has been proved that water have memory, that it is carrying consciousness and that it responds to human thoughts and feelings. Just think about it. Just contemplate what we are doing to ourselves every time we think and react negatively. How it is affecting the water in our body and therefore our whole being and through that the whole world and everybody in it. Because negativity creates more negativity, and so it goes. But we can turn all this around by starting to think and react positively. But how do we react positively when we face fear, sadness, hatred or injustice? By turning our back to it or to close our eyes and pretend that it's not there? Of course not. Everywhere where we meet fear, sadness, injustice or crimes against humanity, the positive reaction is to face the problem and the sickness and then provide the solution and the cure. Even when it's not convenient because facing the music always tends to push us out of our comfort zone. Every time we act from the heart, the water within and around us responds accordingly. Here is a suggestion. Most water that we drink from the tap is sleeping and often filled with chemicals. It needs to be revitalized. Fetch a glass of water. Hold it between your hands, stay with it and start to send positive energy into it. Visualize that you are revitalizing it, protecting love, joy and gratitude into it. It's done like this. Inhale Holy Spirit through your heart in the middle of the breastbone and exhale joy and gratitude through the third eye and your hands into the water. Repeat this over and over until you feel you have become one with the water. And this is really crucial to sit with the water, to connect to it, align with it and become one with it. You must simply be love, joy and gratitude. When you feel it's enough, you can seal your practice with the Aramaic Lord's Prayer. Heavenly source of all being, you who are everywhere, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done here and now and forevermore. Fill us with the power of your grace and free us from the fetters with which we bind each other. Lead us out of temptation Free us from ourselves and give us strength to be at one with you. Teach us the true power of forgiveness and let our future actions emanate from this holy instant. Amen. In this way you bless the water, activating its healing properties. In this way you heal yourself, the world and everyone around you.